Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is what I'm going to start terming finish with me or watch me finish. I finished my hands-on design Sunflower Manor, the smaller autumn design last week. And off camera, I, you know, stretched and attached it to the mat board because you've seen me do that a bunch of times. And I also pre-painted the canvas. So you're just going to see me assemble it. Well, cut the paper, cut the felt. So let me start cutting. This is the paper I decided to use. Very, very pretty. And then I'm going to use these two felt colors. The teal, because of the teal in the Smyrna stitches. And then orange. So this is going to be pretty simple. Ha! Huh, I say that, right? I do have gloves. I bought a whole box of these. And I'm also trying this new spray, this Super 77 multi-purpose adhesive. I actually already use this and it works really well. So, and I have my trusty Amazon empty box here for spraying. So let's just get into it and get started. Let's first measure, well, you know what? I need to measure the canvas. I don't know why I didn't do that before. The canvas is 12 by 9. Well, I'm glad I didn't get one bigger than 12 because the paper wasn't a fit. <laughs> so don't need to do any cutting on that side. I'm just going to cut that little lip off, though. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Hope you guys are all doing well. I'm actually filming this on Halloween. I have off work today, so I'm filming like four videos today because I'll just up then upload one per day and uh, edit them at night. You know what I mean? I'll just do one per day. Okay, so this needs to be Actually, I'm going to cut it a little bit smaller. I'm going to cut it maybe half an inch. That way you can see some of the paint. Yeah, that'll look good. Okay. So then this way it needs to be nine. But actually need to be a little bit less than nine. Really love this cutter. All right, so there's nine, but it needs to be, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do that much. Wait a minute, let me do, I'll do eight and a half that way. Like I said, you'll be able to see some of the paint. Oh, that'll look really good. There we go for that. That was easy. Put that over there. Now I'm just going to cut everything first. So let me, I'm going to put the teal down first and then the orange. I know these are way too big. So first let me measure where big is this? This is eight and a half by six and a quarter. Eight and a half, six and a quarter. You do... Shit, stuck to it. Yeah, eight and a half by six and a quarter. I'm trying to do the math here, people. Eight and a half, if I add half inch to that. Did I say eight? Eight exactly? Oh, eight and a half, okay. If I add a half, 
Let me add an inch to that and see what that's going to be. So nine and a half. Okay, so eight and a half, nine and a half. Let me just cut some of this off so the piece is not so big. Okay. Let's be this way, nine and a half. and a half and then it was six and a quarter so seven and a quarter it's nice that this all has measurements on it okay Let's see how that looks oh yeah and then I'll just do the decorative edge around it so Okay, so then that means I need to cut this one. If I did that one, I need to add two inches to that one. So that makes that one 10 and a half by eight and a quarter. I didn't cut any more of that because I almost didn't have a piece big enough. Take a peek at that. Perfect. Okay. Now to cut the edges. They are done. And you're going to see, yeah, that's going to look really good. Okay. Now I usually, let me do it this way. Let me turn this this way. I usually like to do quarter inch off of each side when I do the um, let me line that up. Oh come on now. Quarter inch, you know, margin. I really like that wave. It's really pretty. Gotta make sure your measurements are right, remember, because you want, at least I do, I want the felt, all of the layers to be the same width away from each other, if that makes sense. Like when I did my coffee one, you know, I, I like it to be a quarter inch difference. You can do it however, you, however big you want, though. wasn't a quarter, I was doing it an eighth, wasn't it? Oh well, I can always change it. I can always cut a little bit more if I want to. Yeah, this, this wave is my favorite one, the decorative blade. that 
that looks like on here. Like I said, I want to look at it before I glue anything down. That's going to look so cute, although obviously it's more of a margin. I could make it, wait a minute, maybe not. I could make it more of a margin. I could cut it a little bit more on the top and bottom. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. On the top and bottom, I think I'm going to do another on these two sides. I'm going to do another. I think I only did an eighth of an inch and I meant to do a quarter of an inch. So I need to do another eighth. Wait a minute, first off, it's not exactly. Okay. Oh God, I was cutting it with the wrong one. I was getting ready to cut it with the, um. Well, that didn't work well at all. Okay, let me cut that a little more. Um. getting ready to cut it with a regular rotary cutter. It would have been totally gone. Yeah, no, that wouldn't have worked. Okay. Get all those little bits and pieces. So much cleaning up to do after you do this. At least for me it is. Okay, that's definitely better. But it could probably be even a little bit more. Yeah, it could. Well, because when this goes on here, I'm going to be cutting that. And then that. Oh, man, is that going to look good? Okay. I think I'm actually going to leave it like that. I'm not going to cut anymore. So let me cut this one now. Come on, little blue bits. Get off of there. I know there's a way that you can line up the blade where it exactly makes the wave. I, I'm not really anal about that, believe it or not. If it looks okay on the corners, I'm good with that. I don't. I don't need to have it like exactly perfect for that. Because your eye, I mean, when you're looking at it, Your eye is looking at the whole thing, you know? Okay, one more side, and then we can glue it. didn't work very well. God damn it. Now I think this one's going to be shorter. Okay, I hope that looks right when I go to match it up. All these little bits of felt. Alright. Okay, that doesn't look bad. I still think I might cut this a little bit smaller. Let's see. Okay, yeah, definitely cannot cut the orange any smaller because you want the, um, 
actually it could be cut smaller on that side. I'm gonna cut that side just a teensy bit. All right, I am gonna cut this a tiny, tiny bit. should be perfect now yeah that looks pretty good now I'm gonna cut this side teensy tiny bit oh my god I was, let me put this away before I grab it and Jesus really All right, this should be the final product now. That looks pretty good, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. That's what the final product is going to look like. So now it's just getting the glue in it. All right. That wasn't too hard, was it? So, let me put my gloves on. Yeah, I got a whole box of these from Amazon for eight, nine dollars, I think. I like the purple color, obviously. Hello? Okay, shake. And because I have the gloves, I can actually hold it, you know. Remember, the most important thing is to get the edges because um, that way it won't peel up. And what's nice about this glue, it seems to not come out. It seems to come out much um, evenly, more even than the, um, the tacky glue. So press that down all along the edges. Yeah, this is actually for scrapbooking. I'm pretty, well, it says multi-purpose adhesive bonds to fabric, cardboard, plastic, metal, wood, felt, and more, a strong, durable bond. Yeah, once I stuck that, like you better make sure you're sticking it where you want it to be stuck because it's not coming up. Okay. Next is the teal felt piece. I shake the can just a little bit more. Ah, don't want to lay it too far down in there. And I know I should be further away. Um, It says like eight to 12 inches or something. Yeah, not really worried about that. Okay, get off there piece of felt. But yeah, you need to make sure before you lay it down that it is stuck where you want it stuck. And then I just, you know, now I didn't get it exactly even because this is a little bit bigger than this, but oh well, it's good enough for me. There's a piece of vinyl. Oh my God, now everything's sticking to my gloves. Okay, now, and remember this is sticky because the back of this, because I use that stitchery tape, which is so awesome. Love that stuff. probably 
should put, I just realized, I should probably put the box like this because I'm spraying it and it's going in the air. So I'm gonna try that for my stitched piece. Like I said, I just eyeball it. And of course I had to get glue on that. That's okay, the stitch piece is gonna cover it. Looking pretty good. Okay, now the final piece is the stitched piece. And like I said, I'm gonna hold it like this because I'm spraying it like that. it down and I'm pressing it with the back of my gloves because there's glue on my fingers from the spray now also when I did the when I attached the fabric I can take these gloves off now when I attached the fabric to my mat board I did not use any batting this time um, I've gotten pretty good at doing the corners and everything and I just wanted a really flat finish on this one so but yeah, you just throw away the gloves. That's the awesome thing about that. So I'm just trying to press that down. Because you want it as flat of a, at least I do. I want as flat of a seal as I can. The seal. I don't even know if that's the right word. I actually could even put a big book on this. I have a, a big Bible over there. Maybe I'll put that on there. That way it'll really, but yeah, that's the final product. I think it turned out really awesome. I really like that teal felt to give it that little pop of color. So that's it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this, seeing me finish another um, canvas and scrapbook finish. Oh, by the way, when I used the paint, I had to do four coats of that orange. Boy, that was a pain in my ass, but yeah, it's done now. So looks pretty good. If you have any questions, as always, please leave them in the comments section below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you for watching and subscribing and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.